Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know how you pulled that off. Wow. What's up guys, future Trevor here coming at you to kind of break down exactly what happened in this launch. So this is Jordan launching a 5XS or 14 meter dominator. The thing is absolutely tiny. You'll see here as he starts to run, he is cruising, going extremely fast. He's not nearly as deep into the brakes as he could be. And as a result of that, what happens is he can no longer run fast enough and he basically sits down as he sits down because he's flying on a flat top he literally just slid across the ground the grass and the asphalt all the way into the sky what he should have done is applied a little bit more brake and held it. Not enough brake to stall the glider, just enough brake to keep himself from face planting into the ground until he reaches airspeed and lifts off into the sky. Launching these smaller sizes often is difficult because you have to run so fast and some people can't physically run fast enough. So to get around that, what we do, or what I do, is I hold just enough brake to keep myself from falling down up until I've reached the airspeed, then I pull enough to get off the ground and ease my hands back up at the rate at which I maintain altitude. You'll see this, I'll launch and I'll stay like right off the ground for like 30 feet, and then I'll just balloon up into the sky. And that's me easing my hands back up after launch, not fast enough to dive myself into the ground. Also not pulling more brake, causing myself to stall up into the sky. Just enough to maintain that altitude until I am all the way hands up, then I pull brakes and I skyrocket myself into the sky. How this carries over to and for other people, one, pull enough brake on that launch that you don't fall onto your face. If you trip and fall with the glider fully inflated and you fall onto your face, what that basically means is you are not pulling enough brake to keep yourself from falling on your face. But if the glider collapses and you fall on yourself, it means you weren't pulling enough brake to prevent the collapse, you weren't managing the glider. One, look up at that glider as you're launching to keep that brake pulled just enough to which you're not falling onto your face and ease your hands up slowly at the rate in which you maintain altitude after you get into the air. That's it for this video, I'll see you next time.